Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of the most awesome videos. In front of us we have the new Eaton Elite Executive and we're performing a daytime medium wave band scan. Current time is 9.59 a.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois. We're going to go over features of the radio and we're going to do a little size comparison and then we'll cruise the daytime band and see what we can find. So the Elite Executive is similar to the older satellite and the um, executive model, this one here, the Grundig Executive Satellite. So they're pretty much all the same. This one here gets a different colored leather case. And of course you can see it has a really neat gunmetal gray with nice white lettering, very easy to use, similar to the black and uh, white that they had. And they also had, I think on the original satellite, they had a silver border. This one is all gunmetal color, which I think is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go over features. It's again, similar to the other radios I reviewed. We have an antenna jack. We have a DX local switch. We have a headphone output for FM stereo also. We have a DC of 6 volts when they include the transformer when you buy the radio. Here we have a little speaker grill, metal, a speaker behind there, Eaton. Um, here we have Elite Executive. We have power switch, of course, with sleep function. We have a lock button. The display does quite a bit. Of course, you can see you got your clock setting. You have a world time set up with the time zones here. Uh, up here, you'll see that you have various features. You have four alarms. <laughs> I don't know who needs that many alarms, but if you do, awesome. Bringing this up. A little charge icon. Uh, you're charging the internal batteries when you have the AC adapter hooked up. Here you'll see some uh, alphanumeric uh, display area for you can name your preset banks, which is nice. And I'll talk a little bit about that if I have time. Here's where our, our another clock with a display. Single strength indicator, which we'll see when it comes up, upper, lower sideband, some bandwidth filter sizes, of course our current time. Um, this is a RDS radio also, so FM will show RDS information. Going down here, you'll see the seven preset keys. Each bank, oh sorry, you have seven uh, presets for each bank, and you have 100 banks giving you 700 presets. Yeah! Over here we have the time zone line and switch. We have a copy paste function, a race function for handling all your presets. And down here with the light feature, which is pretty cool. You can turn this all the way up or off. I added in the lowest setting there just to kind of show you what's going on. Okay, it's a direct entry keypad. Down below you have your band selects. You have uh, for your medium wave, long wave here on zero. FM has its dedicated button. Uh, toggles to the air band. And of course AM has its own button for the short wave and changing the meter bands when you're on short wave. Here's your filters, you get a ton of them. I mean, I'll get a chance to show you. Wide, narrow, upper, lower sideband button. There's a lot to this radio. <laughs> RDS mode, uh, there's your sync button here and uh, si single sideband uh, mode button also an RDS. Over here with page time, this is to switch to the different pages. And of course, we'll set the time, reset hole there to reset the radio. Up and down tuning here if you're doing auto browse or just want to tap tune here, you can do that. I prefer the a tuning wheel on the side. Going to this right hand side you'll see with a tuning wheel which has a push function so when you push this in you'll have stop, slow, and fast and that gives you different increments depending on what band you're on. Uh, let's see what else we got here with the volume control. It's analog which is nice. We have a line in and a line out. On the back of the radio we have a nice long antenna. It's kind of an odd placement for it. I wish it was at the top of the radio or recessed but that's how they built this radio. We have mag magnets here for the leather case, which is not installed. Here you can see the band coverage. I'll kind of get that into focus. Full short wave, which is great. Long wave uh, air. I believe the long wave is higher than advertised there. Uh, batteries takes four AA batteries. Has a kick out stand here. There you go. You get an idea. And of course, batteries. I'm not going to pull them out, but they're, they're in there. Four AA's. So let's go ahead and do a little size comparison. You saw that I had the uh, same radio. It's here. This is the uh, the Grundig Executive Satellite before they changed it to the Elite Executive, taking the word satellite out because they're coming out with a radio with a satellite moniker. And they didn't want confusion, I am guessing. So there's that. We also have got room for all these radios. CC Skywave. And we got to get tuning here. I'll give you an idea for size comparison. This 
executive is actually, or yeah, the elite is actually quite a big radio comparatively to this little tiny Skywave, to give you an idea there. Definitely uh, a big difference there. This is definitely more pocketable. Uh, but the, the reception on the uh, executive here is awesome. I'm loving it. And of course, CC Pocket. Give you an idea what the CC Pocket looks like next to this radio. And of course, we have Iron Man, but he ran away. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the deck of cards. Okay, let's get to it. We've been spending enough time doing all this. Let's go ahead and turn this on and hear what we hear on the band. So go ahead. You have to tap this twice. Kind of weird setup. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom of the band here, 520. Shouldn't hear anything until 540. Now, you, we're on fast mode right now. You can see this fast there. Our filter, I think, is high. Okay, so we got 4K, 6K, 3K, 2.5, 2, and that's where it stops. Usually 3 sounds the best. Back in the day, sorry. There's a movie about Ty Cobb, and it's starring Tommy Lee Jones. And Tommy Lee Jones has always looked that way. The audio sounds pretty good. This is 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. HPT one and three quarter inch fifteen degree pneumatic roofing nailer for twenty bucks left now two sixty nine and get a new dual tough grip fifty two piece steel hex shank screwdriver fit set for just fourteen. This is uh, W I N D Chicago Illinois five sixty. Uh, really interesting thing is the filters on the satellite and the executives are great. Love being able to go up and dedicated down so that you can go back and forth so you don't have to go cycle through the whole bandwidth menu to get a fine tune. I love that. There's 580. This is WILL, Urbana, Illinois. And we can toggle our display here. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> Okay, cool. Had that named. That was the numeric. Let's see that. Location one. Okay. Keep going here. 590 WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Pick them up. Okay, this is 600 WMT Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's about 275, ah, oh, not 200, 175 miles away. Pretty distant station. Three southbound, Brown Deer into downtown. No issues there. It's 12 minutes northbound. Heads up north of Brown Deer Road. There's some 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Because of that, you're going to see some delays off and on today. You're going to lose the lane in the southbound side, by the way, starting tomorrow on 43 in that area, in the Ozaukee County area. Finally, 94 northbound from Layton into the Marquette, seven minutes, right on time. The WTMJ five-day forecast this morning. Okay, keep going. 640 WMFN, P2 in Illinois. Six seventy WSCR, the score, Chicago, Illinois. Quarterback to read that too. That's right. That's right. And so, so let's be real here, okay? Now, th I think that decision yesterday, it, it was a, it negatively affected the outcome. It was not the reason. I can push this in, and you can fine tune one kilohertz steps, which is really nice. these trips and we come back people are just hugging and stuff good when you're trying to yeah. get a little uh, hidden station there in the evening time this is 720 wgn chicago anything but a nice package i'll say the world nice package bertrand yeah uh, say it again quote it uh <laughs> did anyone else have a hard time getting into work besides myself 750 wndz portage indiana 
Coco, María. Nos da mucha alegría saludarles. Estaremos con ustedes. Esta... I really like how that sounds. I wonder if my other one sounds just as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn Outbound on, 20. on my silver one here. Dándole gracias a Dios en la oración. Y bueno, no me encuentro sola. Aquí también se encuentra Marcel Gómez. Yep, sounding just as good. Just making sure. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, does this one sound better? Okay, they sound the same. Y gracias a nuestro Dios Padre Todopoderoso que nos da el privilegio de vivir el don maravilloso de la vida. Might be picking up a little Detroit here. Let's see if it responds to a loop. I'm gonna grab the big old select ten off the shelf. See if we can hear WGR. Okay, barely picking out the voices there, but definitely doable. Cool. That's a 270 mile away station from my location. All right, keep rolling. 10. The Nasdaq is up 70. The S&P 500 up 16. 780. News time 1010. Classes canceled. WBBM Chicago. Elmhurst College because of an invest. Growing up, that there was someone that you could reason with. Then 820 is WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois, about 40 miles away. Growing up, it was a cold. Just barely picking this really low wattage station out of Milwaukee. I want to see it's around a couple hundred watts. Let's see if I can do a loop to hear it. Just barely. <laughs> Bump the sky wave. Come on, sky wave, let's get out of the picture there. Sky wave. <laughs> Keep rocking. This is really cool radio. I'm enjoying this. Okay. Here's a WKR East Lansing, Michigan. I can hear it. Bring the loop in again. Excellent. That's a good test too. I think that's 140 miles away. Great. Let's push this back up. Keep going. No, Lucy, what are you doing? And and uh, and it turns they they say there are hundreds more. This is uh, 890. This is WLS Chicago, Illinois. The high pitch whine coming from the camera. I quit. Clap the hands and she's out. She. As you can tell, this radio is filtered well. Oh, we're getting a little bit of something on 910. This could be um, Michigan Station, about 128 miles away, which is 1,000 watts. WGTO. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this is what this is. Cool. That's usually what I get during the day. Nine twenty is WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Big Badger. A gaping hole at quarterback. Be loved, not beaten up. You'll never hear me beating him up. Nine thirty is WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. Yeah, that's a bad mistake. Don't do that. Um, there's better because you have less principle. More of it is going towards. Principle. WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin. When you reduce the principle each month, mortgages are compounded. Um, uh, granted. 950 WNTA Chicago. I mean, I think we did almost all the right. I 
970WHA Madison, Wisconsin. Great question. Uh, while uh, folks here in Chicago are questioning Nagy taking a knee there at the end, uh, let's talk about what ESPN WMVP Chicago I've never seen anything like this. Fourth and 11, six minutes to go, puts the punting unit out there, realizes he wants to go for it, so he hasn't committed a false start. <laughs> Some music on WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. <laughs> yeah, this uh, music uh, is coming out. It sounded really nice on the speaker. This is uh, 1050 WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. You request everyone to call in, and we do. The radio listeners are very interesting. I... Another distant Michigan station. This is 1060 is WHFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan, about 100 miles away. Just picking up the voices here. The easiest way to absorb that? 1070s WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. NASCAR races in the weekend during the summer. Sweet. Better than catching it barehanded. Because if he knocks it down, keeps it in front of him. 1080 WNWI, Oak Lawn, Illinois. Eleven ten is WMBI, Chicago, Illinois. President Trump was setting back the fight. 1130 WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Walked away from the Kurds right at the time where they were giving us intelligence that apparently was. I think on the basic issue here, should we continue to fight? 1150, interesting. I'll tell you what the hell for 1150. Maybe with the majority of the American people, he's right. He just did it like a child. I mean, I hate to say it, but it was... I'm on my time list here. I spent a lot of time... Okay, so 1150 Iraq. could be... Uh, been there, I don't know, WHBY, Kimberly, Wisconsin. In northern Syria with the Kurds. They are... It's 135 they miles away at 25,000 watts. And he just abandoned them. And that will harm America. careless... Sounds realistic. So 1160 here is a WYLL, Chicago. I think the scriptures teach us that Christian love is not blind. In other words, you don't just say, you know, it's fine, don't worry about it, don't problem. No, there's consequences. But forgiveness should always be available. Squirrel's coming up here in 1180. Tonight, I'm yours, a big hit for Rod Stewart, a little Young Turks with Jay Coffey. Take a look at what's going to be new on the network tube tonight. It is 911, Dancing with the Stars is... WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois. They usually have music playing, but this guy is talking. <laughs> a lot of talking. What the heck? Where's the music? Voice, the battle rounds conclude and the knockout rounds begin. Bob Hart. Okay, no scroll popping up. He only likes music. Uh, WRTO, Chicago, Illinois, coming in strong. WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. Every day on Wisconsin roads. Hi, I'm Josh Coyne. Uh, 1230 WCLO, James Hole, Wisconsin. You know, this time of year, there are more likely to run stop signs. So be alert and careful on the road. WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. WSSP, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 60 miles away, uh, 5,000 watts during the day.
Janneking, the king of queens. Bucks looking for their first home win. Also music there on 1260 WEKZ, Monroe, Wisconsin, about 60 miles away. Shopping show on 1280. This is great. WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. In Plainfield. Crafted in Plainfield. $30 retail value here. 12 bucks to the win. Eggs, Inc. and Bowenbrook and Naperville with the $20 adding deal here. Seven six. Okay. There you go. I just heard him say Fonz FM is coming in. It's really faint though. The WZTI Greenfield, Wisconsin. Just barely picking up music. Okay, let's keep going. Thirteen hundred WRDZ Lagrange, Illinois. Ottawa, Please give my dad his hair back. Love, Maddie. Well, Maddie, today's a wish come true. 1310s WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. With hair loss, because Bosley's about to give them their real hair back Something on 1320. Pretty faint. Okay, let's keep going. 1330 WNTA, Rockford, Illinois. With deals this good, Michael stops chasing. Haunting your dreams? I'm shocked. As always, this week. Appropriation bills passed so we don't have to operate the government. 1360 WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. You get up to the midnight hour. 1380 is WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. Got some uh, Christian music. Uh, WGRB, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, music on uh, WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin. Uh, just to name a few of those locations. Over at Famous Dave, you can enjoy some of the best dang barbecue. 1410 WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. Famous Dave, they were actually voted the best ribs in America. So this is... Best ribs in America. WEEF, Deerfield, Illinois. I guess I've always sort of wanted to do VROK, Rockford, Illinois. Know, a few car tricks and things like that. Just barely picking up WCEV, Cicero, Illinois, Hispanic Station. I think this is WJTI, West Elvis, Wisconsin. One candy, M and M's, Snickers, and Starburst. State of Wisconsin, actually their most uh, popular. WGEZ, Iron Country, uh, Blight, Wisconsin. Country Music Station, it's pretty awesome. It's one of the few I get during the day on the AM band. Now, we'll just uh, say this up. Uh... Beautiful, also in that set with Holy Man. 
I'm just letting you know, I'll have some links below to this radio. This I've seen this go on sale on uh, Amazon recently for 120 bucks. So, I mean, it's definitely worth 120 bucks. Uh, I will tell you that. I was able to get this. It was on sale for $94 on Amazon. I got really lucky. But uh, I'll be honest with you, it's just such a great radio. It does awesome on all the bands. I'm really happy with it. WPJX, Zion, Illinois, heavy metal, hard rock. It's pretty cool to hear on the EM band. I don't hear that too often. Uh, let's see if we got anything here. No. Oh. WLUV, Loves Park, Illinois, barely picking them up, low power. WCKG, Elmer Solano. WPTT, Hartford, Wisconsin. Something wants to break through there. WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. Okay, we got some country music on 1570. I may have found the station before and don't have it written down. So what I'll do is I'll do a pop-up. This might be W... Uh, this is a guess here. WBGX, Harvey, Illinois. But uh, I'll put the... Put it here for y'all. Check that out. Pretty cool radio. Loving it. Super sensitive. <laughs> of course, I closed my list. <laughs> here we go. Watertown, Wisconsin. WTTN. Uh, here we're at uh, 1590 WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Okay, we got Lake County uh, hazardous uh, road alerts. All right, another station I'm picking up. Ah, KCJJ. It's fading now. Okay, so we just had that. It may come back in. 1630. Um, I, I started this video. It's been daylight for at least uh, four hours, so three and a half hours. I think it would be closer to daytime, but I might still be just be picking up a little bit of that... Uh, uh, propagation through the air to get these distant stations. This is a uh, KCJJ Iowa City, 175 miles. I believe it's 10,000 watts. Hello. What would that mean? No difference. It's an idiotic thing to say. WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. Let's keep going up here. Almost done. 125 yards after contact. That's coming in good. The zone, 1670. This is uh, WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. Only giving up the long of, of 16. Too many people, especially lower income people, don't have access to retirement savings. And that is WBON, Chicago, Illinois, on 1690. That finishes uh, our that plan stand. Nobody had a kid when he was like 16. Or not. <laughs> Good dad, by the way. Went to FIU to stay near his kids. Could have went to West Virginia, chose not to. His kid picked a hat of FIU. Stupid kid. Should have went to West Virginia. That would have been very nice for us. But his, he's with his wife still from high school. He's a good dad. I don't think this is KBGG Des Moines, Iowa, but I'll check. <laughs> I didn't expect anything on 1700. We were for like 700 yards behind the defense. And the defense, uh, we had no idea where he was. So it's just like a natural fit for that. And he is just as young. 
hungry guy who has become an incredible veteran in that locker room. Another reason why I like the Colts to continue to win. Yeah, and I would just assume that he's going to get going here at some point. You know, he, he, he like you said, he's... Yeah, I'll look that up, but that sounds like it could be KPGG, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles, coming in crystal clear. Um, I'll check to make sure, and I'll pop it up there. <laughs> okay, I think we're done, though. To kind of blow up here. Never hold anything on 1710. Shouldn't be. Oops, I'm in a shortwave band there. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off. All right, cool. So there it is, the Eaton Elite Executive. Is it worth the money? Yeah, I mean, if you can get it for 120 125 bucks, snag one, you'll love it. Um, love the color layout. I love the white on this gunmetal. It looks amazing. Reception's fantastic. Like, come to expect with the refined um, executive satellite. Did a great job with this. I really like it. Um, like I said, identical radios pretty much. If you have one already, you probably don't need to buy a second one. But if you wanted a backup radio, this is not a bad one at all. So, like I said, I'll have links below. Definitely check them out. Watch for sales. There's going to definitely be sales on this one. Um, yeah, I really like this. This is really sweet. Uh, reception on daytime is pretty good. Um, like I said, it might just be picking up the edge of a late night propagation, but I doubt it being uh, three and a half hours into the... Uh, daylight so eh, we'll see how it is so if you want to see more uh videos of the eaton products subscribe at the bell icon and of course comment below we think about the new elite executive do you like the color combination would this be a radio you'd pick up around 120 bucks or would you save your money and maybe get something a little lesser like a xh data d808 something like this i mean it does quite a bit too this just seems more refined i will say this is the better receiver it's just not as portable as that 808 is, or the Skywave, just my impressions. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next episode.